Right, this is Grade 3, Module 5, Lesson 24. And in this lesson, students are going to be learning what kinds of fractions equal whole numbers. And so let's get started on that. So on this problem, we're, we're given right here a, a whole number, right here. There's our 1, and we want to create a number bond of unit fractions, of fifths. And so in this case, we would put 1 fifth here, 1 fifth here, 1 fifth, 1 fifth, 1 fifth. And so we should be able to see that we have 5 1 fifths, and that equals 1 whole. Now over here, in our number line, we're being asked to label. So this is going to be 0 fifths, 1 fifth, 2 fifths, 3 fifths, 4 fifths, and here is 5 fifths, and 5 fifths is equal to 1 whole. And that's going to be the key thing in this lesson. Uh, so if you're a parent or a teacher, we don't want to just teach kids the, the mindless rule of, oh, if the numbers are the same, it equals 1 whole. We really want students to kind of develop an understanding of this, and they'll come to the understanding. We don't need to give it to them. So um, when we place it on a number line, they're going to see that 0 fifths is equal to 0, and then all the way over here, 5 fifths is equal to 1 whole. All right, well, let's try this with 6 sixth. I mean, uh, <laughs> I just gave it away. Huh? Uh, let's try this with sixths and for one whole. So we're going to make our number bond, and because we're getting good at this, we're going to recognize that it's going to include six of these one-sixths. So our number bond is going to look something like this. So it's going to be one-sixth, 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 one-sixth. Now, of course, does the number bond have to look exactly like this? No way. Uh, students will figure out how to do this. Now, over here on the number line, uh, a little trick for how to cut something into sixths. We want to, as teachers and parents, teach our students how to start learning how to cut these number lines into equal partitions. And in this case, sixths, here's what my little trick is. I begin, I take advantage of the fact that 6 is equal to 2 times 3, right? So what I do is I begin over here. I cut our number line in half. So now I have two pieces. That's this part. Now I'm going to cut each of those halves into three pieces. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And that's this 3 right here. And so now I have six equal intervals. So teachers and parents, we want to be able to, we want to start teaching our third graders how to cut sixths into equal intervals, uh, rather than having them just kind of guess at intervals and guess and check. Teach them some strategies. Cut it in half, and then cut each half into three pieces. All right, well, now that we've got our equal intervals, we can label. And that we see that 6 sixths is equal to 1 whole. Now, parents and teachers, again, they, we want to start guiding our students towards seeing this beautiful pattern that when the numerator is, and is equal to the denominator, when these two numbers are the same, 5 fifths, you have 1 whole. 6 sixths, you have 1 whole. So here's where we're really going to make that, that pattern obvious. So... Um, this says circle all the fractions in problem 1 that are equal to 1 and then write them in the number sentence below. Well, since I didn't do all of the examples, I'm just going to um, make, make the point, which is 6 sixths, uh, 7 sevenths, 8 eighths. So really, uh, we could have done 10 tenths. We could have done 15 fifteenths. Uh, this numerator right here tells you how many of these pieces you have, and when you have all 15 out of 15, that means you have one whole, uh, or in this case, 10 out of 10, or 10 tenths. All right, so all of these fractions are equal to one whole, equal to one whole, this is equal to one whole, this is equal to one whole, and this is equal to one whole. 
putting it into practice with a word problem, we have in art class, Mr. Joslin gave everyone a one-foot stick to measure and cut. Vivian measured and cut her stick into five equal pieces. Scott measured and cut his into seven equal pieces. So we have Vivian and we have Scott, and they were each given the exact same one-foot stick. The difference is Vivian cut hers into five equal pieces, and Scott cut his into seven equal pieces. Now Scott is saying that the total length of my stick is longer than yours because I have seven pieces and you only have five. Is Scott correct? No, Scott's not correct. Because both kids were given the exact same one-foot stick, but Vivian, she cut hers into five pieces, Scott cut his into seven pieces, so yes, he does have more pieces, but his pieces are smaller because he cut his one foot stick into smaller pieces, into sevenths, while Vivian cut her one foot stick into fifths, but both sticks are exactly one foot long. And that wraps up Grade 3, Module 5, Lesson 24, learning about fractions that equal one whole.